We all want to start businesses, but working a job always gets in the way. You feel like you don't have enough time, you come home, you're tired, you want to make more money, but you don't have the time. I'm going to tell you five business ideas that will make you money are super uncommon, and I'll tell you exactly how you can double your salary by doing these businesses. The first business I am going to share with you is something I am doing myself to a much larger scale. I actually come to a different country for two or three months of the year just to do this business. You can make a ton of money doing this business. I am doing it on a huge scale, but I'm going to tell you exactly how you can do this business model part-time from your house. And I'm going to call the first business becoming a consultant. Now hear this out. I've started an office in Pakistan where we provide sales, marketing, outsourcing people to the West. You can do this from your house. You don't need office in Pakistan. You don't need to come here. You can hire people from the Philippines, Pakistan, Bangladesh, wherever you can get someone with great skills, great English speaking people who clearly have a lot to offer the West. And then you need to find clients in the West that are really and truly looking for those services. And I assure you, there are many. As someone who speaks to companies who are hiring all the time, as someone who is in the business doing it on a larger scale, there are a lot of companies in the UK, in Canada, in America, who want people to do admin, marketing, sales, lead generation, looking at emails, personal assistance, so much stuff. All you need to do is find someone in the Philippines, Pakistan, Bangladesh, get the skills, Upwork, there are plenty of places, you can even put up an Indeed advert, and then get that person to work from home and get them the work. How do you get them the work and what would you charge? Call companies, put posts out on LinkedIn, send emails out. If you can even get three or four companies to give you an idea how much of a difference this would make, imagine you get someone and you're paying three to four pound an hour. And by the way, three to four pound an hour in some of these countries is a lot of money. So you're paying above average in the countries that this individual might be living in because obviously the cost of living is much lower. So if you're now paying the individual three, three pound 50 an hour and you can say to someone, well, 10 hours of work or 20 hours of work, we will charge 10 pound per hour. You're making seven pound profit, pure profit on each person, right, on each work. And it could be 10 hours, it could be 20 hours, but if you can get a full-time worker, which is, let's say, 40 hours, let's say it's 40 hours, you're going to be making 280 pound for every person. Think about that. So one person does work for three pound, you charge 10 pound, and you will make 280 pound a week because your numbers would be three pound to the individual, 10 pound charge, your seven pound is your profit, seven pound times 40, 280 times four, 1,120 pound, you could be making part time. And honestly, it's not a lot of work. You could potentially do all of this maximum in 10 hours of work, but you need to be good at sales. You need to know your marketing. You need to know how to put things together. There is an element of professionalism, but it can definitely be done. The first business idea alone has so much benefit. And that's exactly what I wanna do. I wanna give you guys crazy ideas that people aren't talking about where you can make a lot of money from, you could do whilst you're not working your job and tell you exactly how to go about them. So hopefully I'm really setting you guys up to starting your own income in 2024 and come down to the second idea. And I'm going to call number two worksheets slash documents. But let me explain that. See, in 2024, everyone wants to be on a budget. Everyone's trying to save money. Everyone's trying to uh, better their situation, do whatever they can. So create something on a saving document, you know, help someone work out their costs or create a document that is helpful for someone on a day-to-day -day life basis. And you know, people these days are really not in control of their budgets. I know there's a lot of apps and stuff out there, but people do love, love by the way, to have a spreadsheet on their laptop that they can open, create something for them where, you know, they can just put in the formulas. And by the way, YouTube gives you the full setup. It really, really does, right? But the fact that you go and do it and then you sell it for nine pound and then you share it, you'll be surprised how many people will be interested in something for nine pound. And if 10 people buy that's extra hundred pound a month. And if you're working a job and you know, if you're good at something like creating a document, it could be a planner, right? It could be a planner where I am going to create a planner for Muslims where you can, you know, pray, where you are making sure you're doing your gym and then you're making sure you're doing your business stuff and then your job, a planner around Muslims, right? Fantastic. You can sell it for 20 pound and you know if it's something online and maybe a hard copy could be even more so the point is is create something which betters productivity life budgeting for people and there is so much potential you need to be able to share it on social media advertisements and that sort of stuff but nine pound 
Nine pound, 20 sales, right? 180 pound a month. Doesn't sound like a lot, but when you've done two hours of work and then you're just sharing it, that's a lot of money, right? And advertising, social media, meme pages, meme pages are willing to share your stuff for like 20 pound. 20 pound and they will share your planner, right? So uh, you don't really have to put in that much money into marketing either these days. Now, everyone is super focused on their careers. Everyone is super focused on trying to make more money. Number three actually is something that I've been doing recently myself as well. And I think it's super important for you guys to understand, study, learn more things. These things I'm going to like sort of emphasize in all my videos all the time. Remember to learn more. But ask yourself a question. If you had a professional LinkedIn profile, do you know how uh, much, how more attractive, how much more attractive you are as an employee to a company where you send your CV? Because guess what? Eight out of 10 companies are always gonna go have a look at your social media profiles. That could be Instagram, that could be Facebook, and more importantly, that will be LinkedIn. So if your LinkedIn is terrible, it's not to say that you might not get called in for interview, but if your LinkedIn profile is good, and if your profile looks amazing, then no doubt there is a much higher chance you'll get called in for an interview and you'll get taken a lot more serious. And so number three, learn how to optimize LinkedIn profiles and help people optimize their LinkedIn profiles because the old way of fixing CVs, cover letters, this companies, tons and tons of companies doing that already. But if you can become a specialist in helping optimizing LinkedIn profiles, it's a huge market. Think about social media marketing. When it was Instagram, Facebook, that sort of thing. Saturated, everyone's doing it, et cetera, et cetera. Guess what no one's doing? LinkedIn. But LinkedIn is huge, massive. In fact, I would say there's more money on LinkedIn than anywhere else. And you know, you can charge people 150, 200 pound to fix their LinkedIn profile. Do you know why? Because people on LinkedIn have money. And if you came to me and said, you know, Abu Musa, you know, let me fix your profile. Let me make you look nice. You know, an AI picture, which makes you look proper, proper, proper. You know what I mean? But a LinkedIn profile, which makes you look proper, your descriptions, your SEOs, your everything, you're just going to make it look very, very nice. 100% people will pay 100, 150 pound. Why? Because it impacts them in their workplace, it impacts them in future workplaces and once it's done, it's done. And maybe you could have upsells where you actually go into companies and you take pictures of people and then that's, you know, an extra 50, 60 pound, we'll take the professional picture, we'll that add that onto the LinkedIn profile and we'll make sure we optimize your LinkedIn profile massively. And so, you know, where people think, oh, let me have a business around CVs and cover letters, actually there's a huge business around LinkedIn profiles. And listen, if all three of these businesses, you're like, ah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, the worst thing you could do is miss out the last two. Now I'm trying to make sure all of these business ideas are relevant for someone. So if you think that the last three were not relevant for you, though they're banging ideas, let's be honest, they're amazing ideas and you can make a lot, a lot of money, the next two might be. So businesses do not know how to optimize their marketing with AI. They just don't know, right? So maybe you don't be an AI consultant. If you're an AI consultant, you're gonna make a lot of money and I mentioned it in my other video where I give you proper business ideas where you can make a lot of money for five untapped businesses, halal businesses. Uh, the link will be in the description if you wanna check it out. Those are proper businesses. You're gonna make, a, you're gonna make real money basically. However, you could still use AI and I wanna emphasize that using AI is super critical in today's business environment. You can create marketing content for businesses using AI. Businesses do not know that you can write some words in and it will make a picture for you and you can use that picture. Businesses do not know that they can have an amazing LinkedIn profile picture by sending five pictures of them laying in their bed, half asleep, right? I used an AI software to make a good LinkedIn profile picture and honestly it was terrible. I don't take pictures. To be honest with you, I don't really take pictures. So I'm sitting in the car, half of my face, etc., etc. six, seven pictures and guess what? A great LinkedIn profile picture. Now. You could charge 10, 15 pound per picture, even more by the way. I would happily pay at least 40, 50 pound. You could charge 40, 50 pound and all they have to do is send like four or five random pictures. And for a business, if you charged 40 pound per picture, you can end up making 400 pound for 10 employees, right? Well, that's ludicrous, 400 pound. And all you would actually have to do is say, oh, send me your pictures, go on the AI software, put it all in, upload the pictures, they send you the pictures back and you send it forward. It would take you an hour. It would honestly take you an hour, but guess what? Businesses do not know how AI can better their marketing, how AI can do crazy things to better their businesses. You just need to work out how you can use the AI software to make something easier for a business and offer them that service. And it will take you one or two hours 
maximum. Like I just said, you could make 400 pound, 10 employees, charge them 40 pound for a great LinkedIn profile picture. And companies pay that, I would pay that by the way. And you all of a sudden have an amazing side hustle where you're just working one hour a week. Number five, now not only is this passive, not only is this a fantastic business model, and if you're in the UK, I want you to be all ears. If you're in the UK and this business model doesn't at least interest you, there's a problem. Let me explain. So I have a recruitment company. I own a recruitment company. I've been working on my recruitment company for the last six, seven years now. Thankfully, we do really well, alhamdulillah. But one thing I noticed when I started my recruitment company is I would go and visit engineering companies. Now, when I would go visit these engineering companies, usually there's like, uh, you know, big engineering companies, big warehouses, etc, etc. You know, and then someone wants to go get a drink. They go to Tesco's and they go get a drink, etc, etc. Anyway, engineering companies have a lot of space. Space is amazing. Let me explain. If you can optimize that space and put something in that space which doesn't really affect the company and then you can give the company to uh, maybe use that space, you might be onto something. Put vending machines in engineering companies, in logistical companies, in warehouse companies. Now it's gonna cost you two, three, four, five hundred pounds, whatever it is to buy the machine and obviously put the stuff in there. But once you've done that, it's completely passive and you can do it in the evenings, you can do it on the weekends. Now, why would this work? Because vending machines, uh, it's not even a huge model in the UK. Now, I know there's vending machines everywhere. I know that. I completely understand that. But in engineering companies, in warehouses, in large places, if you put a machine in and it's like, great, you guys have 400 employees. Here's the machine for drinks. You could just buy drinks here. You know, if it was water, even if it was water, you would make money. Because if you're going to make, you know, 50p, for example, per bottle, right, or per can, or whatever it is, right, you sell 100 of those, and you're making 50 pound, right, that might not sound like a lot, that might not sound like a lot, but then when you're restocking that, every machine, you could be looking at 200, 250 pound, and that machine itself is only going to cost you 500 pound, 600 pound, even if it's a thousand pound, it's going to cost you a thousand pound, and give you 250 pound return, think about it like this, when you buy a house for a hundred thousand pound, you expect a thousand pound, when you buy a machine for a thousand pound, you're going to get 250, 200 pound return. That's a huge amount. So let me know in the comments which idea you're going to pick up for 2024. Like this video, share with your family and friends. And that's all for me today.